Hey guys, Jonas Nifi here. So I'm, we're back to review. This time we look at Transformers Prime Voyager Class Megatron. Now this is a series three of a, a figures line, and it's made by Hasbro from 2013. So we continue with the Beast Hunters Predacons, and I believe unfortunately this was the final figure, and this is the final figure for the variant for the characters. <clears throat> we'll look at the Megatrons. Now he is some sort of Sharkicon Gnaw or Gna or Gna, I would say pronounce it's G N A W. Remember this one? Look it up. So yeah, he is some sort of Sharkicon jet. Now this time he is the retool and repaint from the regular Megatron. That was from the first wave. Nice little details. He comes with one different weapons. He comes with a. He comes with looks like a, some kind of swordfish gun. The internal. Looks interesting. Those. Guys, if you pull away. He's got little sunk kind of. One turn. Okay. Here we have Megatron looks like a sword. In sword mode. Don't look it's just a green eyes with silver. Or a gun as well. He does have a little peg hole. I do like nicely detailed jet mode. It looks kind of looks really creepy he has a it's got a bronze and colored gray it's got a little printing on the symbol it's got shirt kind of symbol and you can see right here it's that's pretty funny that's kind of funny what's kind of funny is he was originally supposed to be megatron as the new body form if you've seen the predacon rising the director movie it, the very first time i saw he is a modified version of Utron. Oh yeah, spoiler. <clears throat> After Megatron was stabbed by Bumblebee, he was revived, regenerated his ports. He later dropped in the ocean. However, he was revived by Eutron. He gets goes after him, and later on he defeats him. He defeats. He accidentally opened his jar. It ends a sword, and he gets out of energy of Eutron's soul into his body. Then Megatron somehow re. Turns it bad from good sides, and that's pretty much it. He has never seen him again. He has never seen the robots in the sky, or never mentioning. The only mentioning, only one mentioning, Bonnie mentioned is about Megatron. The only mention is once. But the plan season five of the after season four, it was canceled because it's due to poor writing. So here's a little teeth in here. Back here, there's nothing in the engine. Down here is a little robot jumps. Now, Transformer 2 Megatron was just like the regular one before. So, let's unpeg here. Unpeg his leg, collapse. Through the Zapsa Sing, down the rotate. Folders down, and just so it looks exact same mold. Open this. Is, there's a slot to connect to his here crotch piece. Now, this is about to get tricky. He 
now let's unpeg his Also, there's a head opens out. There was Megatron's head revealed. There's Megatron's head. Snap the piece. There's a little knip here. Sorry, it's too dark. Okay. Okay. Okay, sorry about that. that was a mom's talking noise about. He's going to take that, but ignores that. Sorry about that. Sorry about guys, because of mom's noise, because of, she's going to take that. Come on, just. So here is Megatron in his robot mode. Or, I mean, Shark Decon Megatron in his robot mode. It looks nice, a little very generic. It looks exactly looks like identifying to the regular one. Now, quick this size comparison. Quick the size comparison. Here is the next to the regular Megatron. Here's the next to Megatron, the regular one. Now this one looks pretty much it's actually the same detail. This one looks identical. Oh, I almost forgot I didn't show you. This one has purple shoulder one. The regular ones. This one does not have one. The transverse plastic shoulder was removed and replaced gray plastic. His chest looks different compared to this one. Also, his head. I'll take a look at this. His face looks cool. It's really kind of creepy. It's got a blue face with the eyes of green. I also don't like his mouth open. It's like, ah. Uh, I do like his chest. It's purple with green, green eyes. And up. And his legs. Oh, oh. Uh, sorry, it looks like he suppose. Well, get this. Well, you suppose this stays on, but like the regular one, like that. That's my only problem. This cross piece connect it won't stay on. That's my only problem. I'm trying to stay near that. That's kind of disappointment. I kind of wish I had to put a connect piece, crotch piece, and say he's log on. Now, for weapons, is like the Rick. Unlike the. He also holds guns. Or. When. You don't want to carry this one, he also carries the back. His peg holes. 
like the regular one, he's got heck holes, but this one's replaced by yes. now our articulation for Megatron is looks just like the regular one. He does have heads on ball joint because hit by his helmet, and his arms goes up and down goes can't go now because going out that much there's there's no thigh swivel, it has a hinge elbows, swivel forearms, it does have risk in left or right, that's about it. There's no way circulation, its leg is forward and back goes in the out. He has a thigh swivel, then a knee and it goes forward and back. It can't go side to side that much. So that's Megatron Beast Hunter's Megatron. It's a very solid one. I'll give it that credit. It's very good, solid, but I'm not gonna lie. Don't get me wrong. I'm not gonna lie. I did like actually have the weapons. Is speaking of the weapon, that is a sword mode. You can also carry his weapons. So yeah. So yeah, is the Megatron says. So that is Beast Hunters Megatron. And it's the vehicle model and the road model looks ridiculous. He's got solid details. I kind of wish it has a fix of issues. Had a crush piece is supposed to lock and connect. So, it might already have one. Well, so what is next? Well, Hasbro was planned. Originally, Hasbro was planned. They're also doing another Megatron's variant. It was originally going to be Megatron in his Eurocron's form from the Triticon Rising. Unfortunately, it was canceled. It was completely canceled. The line was canceled, which I don't know why, because I thought it was. Mostly had another variant, but for some reason it was scrapped very quickly. So anyway, guys, hope you will be able to see. So stay tuned. We'll look at the rest of the Predacons. We'll review the look at the rest of the Predacons, and the rest of some of the others we haven't seen it. It's the first Ultramarines for the RD. So yeah, thanks for watching, and thank you. Goodbye. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and share, and subscribe. Thanks.